This is just a quick video on how to add some text in Substance Painter and a couple of things to think about. I'm going to create a plane here to do this, rotate X90, and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll just pull it down, make it a little bit more of a rectangle so we have this. I'm going to go into the UV editor and look from the front and press U, unwrap, and this is what I'm going to get. I'm going to select this one here at the top and let's see if we can figure out which one it is it's this one here on the left so let's move that down to make it a little bit easier here so this is the one on the left and this is the one on the right actually the one on the right I'm going to make a lot smaller in the UV space all right and this one I'm going to make a lot bigger in the UV space and that's going to be important for how our text is going to look so we've both we've got them both unwrapped one is bigger than the other all right now I'm going to export this as an FBX here they are opened in Substance Painter. Now there's no curvature or anything, but I'm still gonna go ahead and bake the mesh maps. I'll do this at 2K and uncheck ID. Have a look at the squares as this is happening. You can see that this one had a lot more squares. So it looks like there's more UV uh, area. Okay, now to add text, there's a couple of different ways. A simple way is just to add a paint layer Go to the properties and decide what you want on your text. I'm going to do color, so I'm going to alt click color and height. I'm going to change the color to pretty much black and I'm going to lower the height here. I'm going to come over to the alphas and I'm going to type font or search for font. You can either have uh, pre pre made words and I'm going to use one of those or you can type your own. So I'll do that first. Let's say stand clear. So I click on stand clear. I'm holding now control and right mouse button to increase the size. And I'm gonna stamp the same text on both. Stand clear here, stand clear there. One of these is much sharper than the other. This one here compared to this one, all right? And that's because this one had the smaller squares when we were baking the mesh maps and it occupied more space in the UV map. All right, so if you're finding your text is a little bit blurry on your models, that could be why there's not enough UV, um, you know, UV area, UV space. Now, we can come up here and we can change this from 1024 to 2048, and that will improve this text, and that can be a workaround, and of course it'll improve that even more. So I'll leave it on there. All right, so we can do text this way, but you can't come back now and make any changes. All right, so I'll get rid of that. Another way is to add a fill layer. I'm gonna add a black mask, and then here I'm gonna have color and height. I'll make this black, decrease this, and on the black mask, I'll do the same thing. One, two, all right, I'm going to bring this back down to 1024 just so that we can again see the blurry versus the clear. The difference now is, though, because this was a fill layer, I can come back to the main layer and I can change something like color. Now, if I do that, again, notice how nice and red this is. This one is a little broken up. So let's try the 2048. And that definitely improves it. All right. I can still come in here and I can change the height if I want, and I can have it sort of embossed or projecting out. So keep that in mind as you go to put text on your models that the amount of UV space or the texel density affects something like text, uh, very much so. Now let's come out of here and let's do another, I'll just do a paint layer. Come to the properties, I'll use, I'll use this and let's create our own text so now you can choose from the installed fonts there is a way to bring in fonts i'm not going to cover that right now but let's say we choose um, a font here all right and then you come down to here parameters text and you can type uh, whatever you want my own text and i'll choose bold and if the text goes like that then what i tend to do is lower the size here and then increase the size here my own text my own text all right so you can type your own text using the installed fonts or you can bring in text here uh, that's already pre-made
And that's two ways to do text on your models.